Hey, yep. Well, here we are at the place that no one wants to be, but we all have to be the petrol station. Let's not get started talking about petrol prices, otherwise, I'll go put the car, go put the bike back, and probably never take it out again. So, today I'm going to do something different today. I don't tend to record normal vlogs, I'm a, a Mr. Voiceover. And I think almost every single one that I've done has been exactly in the same sort of style. But I have really been struggling today, uh, the past three weeks, to record my other two videos. So I thought I'd try something different. And hopefully if this works, we can try a bit better. Uh, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's always good to learn. Well, what I want to talk to you about today is the training and improve self-improvement so as you all know I'm a new rider I've only passed last September so it's uh, all still quite new to me and what some of me you know well some of you probably actually already found out about me is I'm a nerd and not only a little one I'm a hardcore nerd I admit it I'm a Trekkie Plus more, <laughs> and not only that, but being really serious is that uh, education is super important to me, and learning is, and it's been a big part of my life, and it's been something that uh, has been a big part of almost everything I've ever done. What I learned from spending a year and a half on a CBT is that there is always, always more to learn. Uh, there's always more to do. And as a traveler, there's always more to see. And so what I decided was that I needed extra lessons. And after passing, I felt more confident in myself. And I felt happy with myself. Um, what I didn't feel was that I knew that I was at the place I wanted to be. Yeah, and so if I do want to go do something like that, I really need to be the best rider I can be. And uh, for me, a big part of that um, is I need to learn from people who are better than me. Um, well, one thing I really like to biking is not only it's open a world for me, but there's just so much to learn technically um, to improve your riding, different courses, and that's one thing I quite liked. Um, so, in that spirit, I did earlier this year in uh, April, I did a bike safe course with Derbyshire Police, and then the very next day. I did the enhanced riding scheme with my riding school and that's actually what I want to speak to you about and for those who are deciding well I want to do something else who perhaps feel the same way that I do but aren't too sure um, which one to do if it's worth it um, so let's go chronologically let's start off with the Derbyshire Police yeah so with the Derbyshire Police it was about £60 and I said, you know what? So I want to come and do this. So start apply for the bike safe. Um, got an email. We have a last minute cancellation. Um, would you like to attend? Book yourself now. The space is limited. So went along, applied for it, got it, booked it uh, the next weekend. And it was in Ripley. It's not too far. Um, just off the side of the peaks. Had a nice little drive down. Um, so it was quite easy, I got there, everything was closed, I thought I'd enter the wrong place and I got to the gate, I'm trying to bell it, let someone in, say, no, nothing's happening, there about five, couple of minutes and uh, um, a police rider comes behind us 
and I think we're just so in tune to see the police rider, to see those badges, to see those blue lights and to really just close up. So it's really interesting for myself. Uh, initially, um, I saw a little change of behaviour, a bit nervous. So it's when you do have to see that police car is behind, you see the police bike, it is quite intimidating, it is quite scary. Uh, we got in, had a little chat, a cup of tea, and it's interesting, as soon as they take their helmets off, it, you just see another person. And then it's not the police, it's Mark, Bill and Ted sort of thing, you know, Tom, Dick and Harry. So it's, you, know, you just got to actually meet them, see them and start seeing them as people. And let's take this off. And the inter interesting thing for me was that when we went in, there was a lot, quite a few other riders. Um, you know, have a bit of socialisation, speak to other people. And it was quite positive. And uh, so it was a nice safe space and I thought that was brilliant. Um, went to the bike safe. Nice classroom room environment, walked in, sat us down, PowerPoint presentations and it was a classroom course. Went in and what I found, it was really interesting that they gave the first three hours with the theory, uh, practical advice, where we could share our experiences and ask those questions. And they went through a lot of theory um, using the uh, handbook, see the screen now. I think it's, I got it from Amazon, it, was, it wasn't too expensive, it was quite reasonable I think. Um, but I think uh, an invaluable resource for me because it's not only just the uh, bike safe that use it, um, but it was also the enhanced riding scheme, Rosper IM, all use the same book. And that was quite interesting for me. It's almost like one set um, style or formula that everyone sort of uh, adapts and picks and changes. So we went in, we had our uh, theory. Oh yes, uh, but before the theory, what they actually built, they send you a home course to do online. So you go online, uh, they send you a link, and it's just reading through. I think it wasn't anything too difficult or strenuous or taxing. It was quite reasonable, quite straightforward. It was quite simple to understand, nothing too complex. Um, and they went through a lot of principles with you. So I think that was really good. Um, and it was quite interesting, I enjoyed it. Um, and at the end of the time we had a little break. It's really good. And after that we went out for a practical ride. And I think that's as simple as it is. Um, it's, the bike says nothing complicated, nothing scary. Quite easy, quite straightforward. Nothing too scary. So I think it was quite a nice little experience. And uh, that's... What did I learn from it? I think it was really good to actually watch someone else's riding or see someone else making the mistakes, learning from them. So we went out with uh, two other, with another rider. There's two of us per officer. And um, it, it wasn't anything too scary talking to them on the way down. It was the same thing. We rode for about uh, 20 minutes. Um, had a chat. Our first stop. So I'll, I'll put that up. I think I've got the first break. And then um, it was my turn. After after that, we got ourselves back. Yeah, so we had a debrief. And the breakdown was quite interesting for me. Um, I think we said the speed and everything was okay. I think most of my positioning was picked up. Um, I was going uh, too much to the left, getting into the gutter too much. Um, and I think that's still a hang up from my 125 days. It's still something that's stuck in me. I think I need to work on um, whenever I see a lot of cars. Um, same thing on the bullet. I don't tend to have the power to overtake. And so I tend to try and just let people pass. I just try and go a bit more relaxed. Uh, but now it's a more powerful bike. I think you need to hold your position. Uh, claim, claim a bit on the road. Uh, there's also some bits and bobs. It was quite interesting in my turns. Uh, when we did have a turn. Um, I was, in some places I was turning into early. Then have to make corrections. Or turning into late, then have to make corrections. So it was quite good to have someone else 
analyze your riding see the mistakes you're making but i think the important thing in this whole process is that you've got to be open to it uh, not everyone is always as open or amenable to people telling them it's been quite interesting when i've heard things about the um about tr further training i am and rosper and so forth and uh, in other places in other videos by other riders uh, especially i think with noob um, when he's talked about mentioned I am you two tend to get quite a bit of negativity because for me I didn't really understand it and for me it's like uh, if you, you couldn't you know there's always room for improvement there's always room to do that um, but I think you've, it's an attitude as well and going back to what I was saying right at the beginning about nerds it's about learning it's about being hungry for knowledge and it's about wanting to know more and, and I think a big part of that is that you accept that you're, you don't, you know, that you don't know everything, or the things you think you know, or maybe it's just a, perhaps just a small drop in the ocean. So I think uh, with these courses, um, if you keep yourself open, um, keep yourself quite accepting, and that's where you're going to get the most from it. So that was that. I went back home, I really honestly felt like confident, um, I could see the logic in what I'd been taught, um, a lot of things about the positioning, the riding, uh, the way to do things and like I said it was, I generally enjoyed it and it was a brilliant day out to have a nice day out ride, riding and oh this is one of my favourite bends, I love this bend. Whee! <laughs> there we go. A squeal you're going to get. Oh, false neutral. There we go. First time in a long time. Um, so, brilliant day. I really enjoyed it. I really had fun. And before I say anything else, let's talk about the next day. The enhanced riding scheme. Uh, this was a totally different kettle of fish. It was a totally different animal. Uh, a very, very different experience. And this is where... I, I think it's important to see the difference with this one I went to the riding school just me and the instructors are one-on-one -on -one. so unlike the day before quite a social affair there's five six of us yes I know right number on the screen and it was really good so what I would say is that what I on the second day came in me the bike instructor and so he actually went through a lot, didn't go through it, he asked me, Do you, have you read this, have you read that, have you read this? Um, asked me to repeat, I uh, just did a quick little test, um, I don't know, how, how many miles had I done? So I told him I've done uh, near 3,000 um, since September, um, he's quite happy, reasonably happy. and where I had been, so I told him oh, this is my riding I've done. So I think uh, with someone like that, they want to know, even for me as a teacher, as an instructor myself, uh, when someone comes to you and you have something to teach them, if they've had some little bit of experience, they have some of the basics, you start from a, a confident position. You start from a place, I was saying, yeah, look, I don't have to teach this person to walk. We can start to get, perhaps get some running today. That was the part that was really I was quite happy with. Uh, right, so second day was quite a different experience. It was just me one on one with the instructor, so that was uh, the first difference. Then it was at the school, so it wasn't with the it was with the Rosper. It was actually with the head of Ro the chief instructor for Rosper in Derby. Yeah, so it was uh, really interesting because not only had he. Uh, had lessons for my CBT with him, uh, but um, when I did go for extra lessons after passing my CBT, he was the same instructor, and so, like I said, it was quite good for me. I did learn a lot from him every single time that I've been out. He is, uh, uh, is very, very knowledgeable, and so he is. And he's got an Enfield, there you go, you can't, you can't dislike him, can you? He's an Enfield man, and he knows what he's doing. Um, so, 
what happened in the end. Well, I think uh, we had that time. We went through, spoke a fair bit, and said, "You know what? Uh, I think you know all this. Let's go see, put it into practice." And he was having a much longer practice period, just one on one. And I think that was the part that um, really helped me because a, a lot of times. Um, we can be sitting or sat down in a classroom, we can be told all the facts under the sun, but it's actually, it's actually that practical experience and that sometimes that we need. And we did actually cover a fair bit of distance. And so that was the other thing that was really, really good for me. So what did I find? The difference between the both days. If it was me, I would, always, I would say do both, uh, but for very different reasons. For the bike safe, to get that basic classroom knowledge, to get those, you know, to get that information, to have that uh, pre-course with IPSCA powders and so many other acronyms that are so important uh, to you know, to be familiar with them, to gain that uh, introductory knowledge, as it were. Um, but then, I didn't really feel that I had enough practice. And it wasn't until that uh, I had the time with the with the with the um, enhanced writing scheme actually put a lot of those things into real practice and actually made a big di big difference for me. What I would say is that do both of them. But I'd perhaps say, if you knew, take the enhanced riding scheme second and the bike safe first. Bike safe to give you that introductory knowledge, have that time in the classroom, um, also get to get you familiar with a lot of the principles. But the enhanced riding scheme to actually then to cement those things, to give you the practice. And ideally, in my case, what really helped was doing them the day, next day. Sunday, the bike safe, Monday, the enhanced riding scheme. And doing them both together made all the difference for me. It made, made, it, it, it made the whole thing flow. And it re made a massive difference in my riding, it made a massive improvement to my confidence. And that's what I say I really liked. So before I go for a breakfast, I was like to say thank you for listening. Um, so what am I doing now? My training. I said uh, I like to keep learning. Well, I've actually joined ROSPA almost straight away. The week after my enhanced riding scheme, I've had um, been struggling to get myself time out to have lessons. I've had um, had a really good one a couple, uh, on Friday two weeks ago. I've got one on Wednesday, and uh, I think that's so that'll be interesting for another video. But anyway, you take care, ride safe, and importantly, stay curious. Thank you.